on this island, you need to know your enemy. It's not the heart stopping descent. What's that parachute here that's just like, whoa. It's not the reckless ravine. You never know what will happen next. And it won't be found on the edge of doom. Come on, Abby, catch you! It's not even your rival's in sting or claw. Your enemy is the island itself. Who will escape from Scorpion Island? A brand new series starts today at 4.30 on the CBBC channel. On mission 21 Tad. Futuregate is crawling with roboids and I need help to destroy them. So far I've summoned 12 young recruits and tested them with missions of stealth, dexterity, logic and bravery. Sadly, nine of them fell victim to the dreaded vaporizer. But three recruits, Melanie, Pace, Cat, proved themselves worthy of a place in my elite team. I now need just one more to join them and together we will finish this evil for good. 2110 is set in the future, and the adventures you are about to see are controlled by trained professionals. Please do not try any of the missions performed in the show at home. Can anyone hear me? Is there even anyone alive out there? They've taken over. The world is in ruins. I need your help. We built them to be our friends. We built them to serve us. On Earth and worlds far away. But out there, somewhere, something went wrong. They returned to destroy us all. Well, almost. The fight back starts here. With you. This is Mission 21 Tan. It's been a long journey. It's a hard fight and it gets no easier. This ship, this floating base, was the birthplace of the Roboids, the cyber monsters we created to be our servants, who one day turned on us. They all but destroyed the human race. Soon Futuregate will see the birth of something else. Humanity's fight back. The last of the recruits arrived today from the Earth of 100 years ago. I'll train them to fight, to think, to be better than they ever thought they could be. And they, in turn, will help me destroy the Canheads and take back this planet for good. My final batch of urchins. Full steam ahead! All right, then, you semi-horrible little lots. Recruit number one, what's your name, please? Lucy. Lucy, lovely to meet you, Lucy. And tell me, do your skills match your height? If my height matched my skills, I'd be a giraffe. Oh, very glad to hear it. And you, recruit number two, your name? Kid. Clearly a snappy dresser, lovely glasses. Tell me, how spectacular are you? On a scale of one to ten, I'll be off to scale. Oh, very impressive. You'll need to be, you'll need to be feisty. You'll need to be furious, ferocious, formidable. Carry on. Fearless, flibbysome. The beast. And what does that mean exactly? Robot annihilation. Very impressive. Here's another F word for you, recruits, for all of you. Futuregate. That's where I've set a bunch of these missions to test you. And we're not alone. This place is absolutely crawling with metal monsters, the Roboids. So you, short stuff. Lots of physical challenges ahead. What are your tactics? A dance is robots dizzy. Ah, sensational. And these are what we're after, these precious bio rods. Now, I like your team spirit, guys. That's exactly what we need, so it's time for your very first mission. Everyone close your eyes. Chop, chop. Now tell me, recruits, what can you see? Nothing. Anything else? Anything at all? Darkness. Perfect, and you'll be getting used to plenty of that in our first mission. Follow me, recruits, to Shade Alley. <laughs> Well, down here, gang. Your mission starts here with the first bravery mission down here in Shade Alley. If you want one of these, you're going to have to sneak through Shade Alley to win one. Is everyone up for that? Yeah. 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 Can you smell that? What does that smell like? Oh, Can you smell that? It's awful, isn't it? That is a shade. Take a look through there. 
These are the slaves, the minions of the roboids. They do all their dirty work, whatever that is. So you need to get into Shade Alley and retrieve from the little canisters hidden in there three of these resistance keys. You have to hunt them out with those torches, find them in canisters all the way from Shade Alley. As soon as you've got three the same, take them and put them in the bio rod box at the end of the alley. As soon as you do that, the box will open, you win yourself a bio rod. Megan, you're up first. You feeling brave? Yeah. Three identical keys. Now go get them. Go on, Megan. Mission on. Don't touch a shade, otherwise that's you out of the mission. Stay calm and unscrew it. That's it. You've got the lid off. I got. I don't know what colour it is. Take it out. That's it. Pop it in the torchlight over the top. Is it? It's green. You're looking for three yellow. Okay. I got yellow. I got one yellow. You've got to get two more yellow ones. That's it. So you can run past that first shade. You're safe from him. But keep an eye on that second one, Megan. I got another yellow. You've got another yellow, that's fantastic. This is your chance to get your first bio rod. Move quickly. Wait, that one's a blue. Okay, then put the lid back on and move on, Megan. Okay. How are you feeling, Megan? Are you okay? No. Okay, stay calm. You're doing really well. What's the matter? Are you scared? Yeah. The shade started to move towards the bio rod box, Megan. You've got just 30 seconds to get that last resistance key. I left my torch behind me. Does that matter? You're a very brave recruit, Megan. You're doing great. That's it, Megan, go for it. Get right up, stick them into the bio rod box. Press the button, Megan, to open the box. Yes! The shades stink. They smell like rotten eggs. When one went past me for the first time, I was just so shocked at the smell. Okay, Kez, you're next. Go for it. Don't touch the shades. Mission on. Remember, you need to hold it up to the light so you can check what it is. Yep. yep. That's a green. Two more to go, but be careful of those smelly, scary shades. That's it. Wait for the shade to get past, then hold your nose. Remember, you're under pressure of time here, kids, so let's get up to that second bank of canisters. Yep. Want to do that now? Remember to hold it up to the light so you can double check the colour. No, it's not. Okay, kids, come on, let's get a move on. Yes, I've got it, I've got it. He's got a second one, he's got a second one. Yes, I've got it. You've got it, fantastic. Yeah, I've got all three. Yeah, OK, now watch out for those shades. Don't blow it now by letting a shade touch you. OK, you've got to get all three inside the box. I've got... Um... The final shade's closing in, so you've got to move fast. Yes, I've got it. Yes. He's got it. Oh, the shade, uh, oh, the red eyes are the most scariest thing I've seen. The way that they walk is just terrifying. Lucy, three blues for you. Go for it. Mission on. OK, she's at the first bank of keys. Holy moly. No. Stay calm. You've got plenty of time. I got it. You've got the blue one. OK, fantastic. Let's move on, Lucy. But steer clear of those ugly shades. Two left to go. There's enough time to do this in. Keep a clear head. Find me those keys. No. OK, lid back on. Move on to the next one. But keep an eye out for the shade. Yeah. OK, Lucy, can you see him moving in? Are you, are you safe? Oh. Um. Oh, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Fantastic. OK, we just need to get on to the third one. And that's your first bio rod safety squared away. Uh, just make sure you don't brush against them. Yeah. Oh, no, he's coming. I have to go back. OK. What do you think of the shades, Lucy? They're really intimidating. OK, we've got to get that third resistance key. Then grab the bio rod. There's one more to go. OK, the last one is moving in, Lucy. So we've oh, got to get no. this key. If he gets too close, you've got to hit the panic button. OK, get out of there. Hit your panic button. I just panicked too much and I didn't concentrate and it just it all went wrong at that point whenever the shades came close to me. You're looking brave, Elliot. You need to be. In you go. Go for it. Good luck. Mission on. OK, Elliot, as you know, we need three identical red resistance keys before the shade blocks your path to the bio rod box. So what can you see? It's working, it's working. That's it, onto the second bank of canisters. 
Can you tell me how you're getting on? I can't yeah, see you. Right, um, uh, it's a green one, it's a green one. Okay, back in, we need two more red. Okay. We're going to the next one. Okay, that shade's gonna be moving in from the end. He's gonna oh. cut you off very soon. Okay. The shade's moving in, that's 30 seconds left. It's a red one, it's a red one. Just go for it, go for it, get past that last one. Before he turns around. You've got to move quickly. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. okay, you've got 10 seconds, Elliot. Okay. It's a red one, it's a red one, it's a red one. That's three, but you're not going to reach that box. Remember your panic button. Uh, it was quite scary because there were all the shades moving around and they're quite big and intimidating. I got three keys, but yeah, I didn't get a blow rod, so I'm gutted now. With all these visitors, it can get a bit mucky around here. Honestly, five years, no one, just me and my tidy ways, and then all of a sudden, four of the blighters turn up together, and not just the once. None of them ever seem to look anything like me at all. Must be because I'm so special. <laughs> Only one of this team will go on to join my merry bunch of elite recruits, and then, who knows? Do you know? Do you know what happens next? Do you know what happens with Neuros, this evil I've been reading about? Do you know what's inside Enlab? Do you know anything at all? And, and, and what about this chap? Do you know who he is? Is there anyone out there at all? Maybe one day you'll answer me. <sighs> Until then, back to work. These missions aren't going to invent themselves. Okay, recruits, your next mission is all about dexterity. So which of you can pat your head and rub your belly at the same time? Go for it. Yeah, excellent. And of absolutely no use for our next mission. Oh. We're here in the repair rooms here in Futuregate, and you're going to come face to face with your very first roboid. These are the workers, drone-class roboids. They're incredibly tough, not necessarily all that bright, but they do have metal pincer claws that could pop your head in about a second. How do you feel about that, Lucy? No, thanks. Right, you're going to need to get into that repair room and disarm three pressure switches on the roboid's chest. For each switch you disarm, you'll receive one bio rod. So doing a quick bit of maths, you'll realize through this mission, you could come out with three bio rods. However, the second you trip any of the alarms, that's you out of the mission for good. Mission on. Kez, I hope you have steady hands. You don't want to unsettle that worker. Yep. Excellent, Kez. So you've got one bio rod. It's up to you. Do you want to come back now and keep that bio rod, or do you want to take a risk and see if you can win another one? Uh, I'm going to take the bio rod. You're going to take the bio rod. Okay, yeah. come back to us, Kez. Well done. Good work, Kez. That was fantastic. Okay, Megan, it's up to you. Go for it. Good luck. Mission on. Go for your first bio rod, so stay calm. Good luck. We're all behind you, aren't we, team? Yeah, come on, Megan. Come on, Megan. Okay, so what do you want to do? Do you want to hold on to that bio rod and come back to us, or are you going to take a risk and try and win another one? I'm going to hold on to it. Okay, come back to us, Megan. Well done. Well done, Megan. Well done, Megan. Well done, Fantastic. Well done. Okay, Elliot, it's up to you. There's another worker out there. Get going. Good luck. Go on, Elliot. Go on, Elliot. Mission on. So get that rod, and let's get stuck into getting you at least one bio rod. Let's go on to those first things. Stay calm. Centre yourself before you start. So, Elliot, take the bio rod, take it from his claw, yep. and what are you going to do? Are you going to come back to us, or are you going to try and take a risk? I think I'm going to go for the next one. Yeah, okay, we're all behind you. Okay. Yeah. 
Nice. Okay, Elliot, that's two bio rods. What are you going to do? Are you going to try and take a risk for the third one? Uh, I think I'm going to come back. You're going to come back to us. I think it's a yeah. great idea. Get back here, Elliot. Fantastic. Well done, Elliot. Uh, Good work. That's two. Okay. Excellent. Okay, Lucy, it's up to you. Go for it. Good luck. We're all Go behind you. Mission on. Okay, Lucy, are you in the room? Yeah. Okay, so stay calm. Get hold of that rod. I've got and it. And let's work on getting you some bio rods. Fantastic work. Okay, that's one in the bag, Lucy. What do you want to do? Do you want to take a risk or do you want to come back to us? Um, I'm going to come back to you. All right, come well back done, to us, Lucy. Lucy. Well, well done. done. Well, well done, Lucy. Lucy. Well done. Well done, Lucy. Congratulations, well done, Lucy. Lucy. That was absolutely fantastic. Recruits, that was a 100% success rate. I'm really proud of you. On to the next mission. Follow me. The biggest risk is not taking a risk. Well, I ignored that, and luckily I did, because I knew that if I did go to the second level, I'd mash it up. I really enjoyed Livewire. I am disappointed I didn't go for the second slot, but doing that, I don't think I would have got it. I feel really good that I risked it and went to get another bio rod because uh, I succeeded and uh, I ended up doing better than all my other recruits, so that's always good. In some ways I do regret not risking it and getting the second or the third bio rod, but I'm glad that I got one. You're getting pretty good at this, Caleb. Yeah, of course you're getting good at this. You've had no one else to practice with but yourself for five years. Still, it'd be really nice to play against an opponent for once. Ideally, one that wasn't nine foot tall, made of metal, and wanted to squash me. Oh well, the day that my final team take on that ultimate mission is nearly in place. I've got just one more to get, and then the team's complete. Fantastic. All of them brought here to fight with me in the year 2110. Do you know, I'm amazed that time portal technology worked. I really should patent that design. I could make a bit of money. Do you know what? I should go back in time and then patent the design. Caleb, you're a genius. Well, you're close to a genius. Okay, recruits, welcome to the frozen vaults. This is where the roboids turn human beings into shades. Yeah, disgusting, isn't it? We've got to keep quiet. Just around the corner from us is a guard roboid, commander class. That means he can't see, but his other senses far outweigh a human. Three of you have two bio rods. Lucy, you only have one, so this is your chance to level the playing field. You feeling confident? Yeah. Your mission is to take four security spheres from the generator, sneak past the roboid in the center of the room, hosing down the place with coolant fluid, and place those four spheres into the console. If you get this four-color combination correct, you'll open the frozen vaults, and that means releasing four bio rods, as well as a bunch of stinky shades. So you're gonna have to get out of there quickly. You're gonna be working in pairs, so that means two bio rods each if you get the mission correctly. But remember, it's all or nothing. I've got the code here. I'm not gonna show you. I need you to crack it. You think you can do it? Yes. Elliot and Lucy, you're up first. Go for it. Good luck. Mission on. It's a four-color code, and all four are different. Be careful of that coolant. It might be toxic. Blue, pink, green, purple. Did you get any right? Yep. Get it green. Green. What else? What else? What else? What else? Choose those security spheres carefully. Give me two. Right, put the green in. Uh, Shout out the colours. Okay. Pink, green. yellow, green, orange. Oh yes, yes we did it's it. It's all correct. <laughs> Fantastic. You cracked the code. Now go and grab those bio rods. Don't let the shades touch you. Come on, Elliot. Come back to me. Watch out for that guard. Oh. Well done, guys. Oh, they were <laughs> <laughs> they, they were pretty scary. Yeah. And the uh, cooling fluid nearly went in my face. Mission on. That's it, guys. Come on. Think on your feet. You've got to get past that guard without him seeing you. Come on, quick. You're doing well, recruits, but you have to think clearly and logically. Good, just put them in. Just put them in. Green. Green, orange, blue, green. Oh, no. 
One right, fantastic. We've got one green right, so get, get a red, get a pink or a purple. Pink and a purple and white. Stay focused. Choose those security spheres carefully. We need green, sure. Yeah, we definitely need green. Right. Quick. Communicate, you're doing well. Quick and look, we need to green to that. We don't have time for mistakes. Oh no, someone. Watch out for his claws! Yellow, green, blue! Yes! Wait, say, whoa, whoa. Blue, yellow! Green! Blue! No, no, blue! Blue! No, no! Uh, oh, no! Pepper, just take it in there! Quickly, go! Yes! Yes! yes you've got it. All four correct! Fantastic! Go get those bio rods! Don't touch the shades! Yes! You've got it! Come, Come on. back to me! Watch out for the guard! Okay. Get back here safely! It was really scary, but when we got four green lights, our hopes just left. At the end, that was absolutely exhilarating. Yeah. I saw it ecstatic at the end. What are you doing there, Caleb? Thinking. It is a good man that knows when to think and when to act. I'm not sure about that. You don't know how good you are. Not yet. Maybe. I don't know who I am either. All I know is four more recruits. The last. I've got to get them ready. Get me ready. It won't be long now. The boy in that photograph could never have done the things that you have, Caleb. Maybe not. But he reminds me. Reminds you? Of what? Of what life should be like. Of what it will be like once we destroy those hunks of tin out there. Maybe there'll be children like him again. Innocent. Laughing. I hope so too, Caleb. Train these last recruits well. And be careful. I'm always careful. I wish that were true. You know there are other forces in this place. Neuros. Where have you learnt of Neuros? I read something, some documents left on the bridge. Something about Neuros controlling the Roboids. I don't have all the answers, Caleb, but I do know you have work to do. I know. Bye, Cybele. I won't let you down. I hope I never let you down either, Caleb, for I know you will face Neuros all too soon. Okay, recruits, this is it. The final mission of phase one. I'm determined to put a dent in the Roboid's plans, but I need your help. You're a fine body of recruits, each of you with three or four bio rods, so you'll be perfect for this next mission. Here we are in Future Gate's charging facility. You're about to come face to face with the fiercest of all Roboids, the War Droid. Megan, he's about 20 times your size. Are you scared of him? Yes. Well, you needn't be because he's vulnerable while he recharges. Ordinarily, he'd be armed with a vector beam that can slice through steel. But right now, we have a chance to destroy him before he destroys us. Okay, recruits, this mission is a race with a difference. What you need to do is connect the cables so that when one of you runs back and throws the switch, we can slam about five bajillion volts up our roboid friend. Who's up for it? Me! Glad to hear it. Elliot and Kez, you're together. Megan and Lucy, you're together as well. Two bio rods for the first pair of recruits to bring me back his bolts. Go for it! Mission on. We don't have long before that war droid recharges, so you've got to get a move on. Megan and Lucy, you're connecting yellow cables. Elliot and Kez, you're connecting blue cables. I think I've got it. Lucy, I've got it. Oh, OK. Pass me the three one. OK, recruits, come on. You've got to work as a team. Got it. Um, got it. Right, I've got this one. one. I'm moving on to the next one. Right, we've got a three. One minute. It's come out. It's come out. Got to make a clean connection. Yes. This one. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I can do this one. Oh, no. Um, not right. That one. Uh, Isn't that? Here. OK, recruits, you seem to be struggling. Oh, oh the wrong one. 
Is that one right? Is that one right? Is that one right? Three. Yeah, that one's right. We've got to communicate. Work as a team. And let's get this war droid overloaded. I mean, this one's only the five. Five. I've got five, yeah. If this boy gets powered up, you're going to have serious problems. Oh, this is it, Megan. Oh, yeah, three. Come on, come on. Pass me the fight. You can do it, Lucy. Come on. I can't get it in. Don't worry, Luce. OK, I've got that one. Two recruits support each other. Three. And what's that one? What's that one? What's that one? That one's... Three as well. Three, right. Yeah, this is it. This Are is they it. pins? Are they? Yeah. They're both. Right, they're both pins. They're yeah. both pins. Pass me that one. Yeah. 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 Once you've connected all five cables, you'll get the chance to blast this war droid with some high voltage. Think logically. Move quickly. Five, three, and five. No, it's three and five. Different one. That's five. There we go. Done it. Done it. Right, we need a five, a five and a three, a five and a three. It's this one. It's this one. It's this one. Yes, sir. Come on, come on. Come on, Lucy. No time for a mental safari. Let's get stuck in. It's not going in. Do it, Liz. Come on. Or I'm back. Run for it, gentlemen. Throw that switch and let's fry this war droid. <laughs> That's it, recruits. <laughs> Run in and grab those bio rods. You've earned them. <laughs> Frying tonight one war droid. Extra crispy. Yes! yes. <laughs> we beat the girls and we won the mission and won a bar on each, which is always good. Yeah. I think they were panicking. Yeah. Our oh. secret to our success was we didn't panic. We yeah. struggled quite a bit, but it was really close in the end because we got three connected. Me and Lucy are really good friends and we work really well as a team. Yeah, we work really well as a team. Like I said, we're great friends, but you know we're going to beat them next time, yeah. obviously. <laughs> Oh what, oh what, like you never dance on your own? I never get any me time, and then as soon as I do, you lot creep up on me. All right, come on then, you think you're so good, let's see your moves. Oh, oh that is quite good. Megan, that's suspiciously good robotics, whose side are you on? I'm human. All right, glad to hear it. Well listen recruits, time to get serious. Phase one has gone very well and you've done the resistance proud. However, phase two is where things are going to get serious. You're about to face a machine so deadly, so powerful, that only the strongest recruits will survive. Four of you will become three as you face Futuregate's ultimate test, the Vaporizer. The Roboids must be destroyed. They are the enemy and they'll stop at nothing to harm you. If you're brave enough to face the Vaporizer, you will face danger, but you will have the chance of victory. One false move, one wrong step will end your mission, perhaps even your very existence. The most feared of all missions, the Vaporizer. Well, you wouldn't catch me doing it. The final pieces of my puzzle are fitting nicely together. Last group, last chance to make it into my elite team. But what will we have to face in the future? The war droid's leader, perhaps. Neuros, whatever that is. We'll bring it on. Bring on the future! What future, Caleb? A future full of Roboids domination? That spells the future. Not your pathetic attempts to create peace and harmony. Bah! I will gladly take away your future and watch you fail. Which you will.